Hi guys, it's Zafi Huang welcoming you back to Let's Play Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is part 17. So, yeah, in the last video, which wasn't very eventful, and, hope, and I checked it, and it actually looked pretty good. The brightness, I think, was good for once. And we got a lot of story and a lot of backstory and stuff, and like stuff that's going to happen in the future of the game, and some context. But we also found out that the old man was the king of Hyrule, King Roman, but he's actually dead now, and he's now uh, in a an ethereal state, and he's, he had an alibi, and had a secret identity, and pretended to be the old man, and, yeah, I mean, I honestly, as soon as I played the game and saw him, I'm like, nah, this guy's not just going to be here for the plateau, he's going to be something important, and then, but didn't think he was going to be off the plateau, because he can't spiritually leave, I don't believe. I, f I think you see him later. You see him in other things, but I'm not going to get into that because I could be classified as spoilers. But, yeah. So anyway, um, we're going to talk. I'm going to read what he says now. So, he's saying, Go on, here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Da -la -la -la. I was very ear piercing. I'm sorry if I made anybody deaf then. So we got paraglider, an item that you you receive from the king of the of the on the great plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. And his daughter, of course. Okay. So. I really hope I don't have to go through the whole cutscene if I don't save. But I could ruin the video. Like, well, I'm on, like, right now, so. Oh, damn, I don't know what to do. So, there we go. It's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Well, actually, no, not I almost forgot. I remember it, I should say. No more armor for Link. Okay. Um, just saying, down there. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oops, that's not very good, but uh, I'll use my finger down there where the water is. The little trees in there. Oh, God. Oh, wait, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I can jump down. It's absolutely fine. I can't believe I forgot that. There we go. So down there, right there, um, in master mode, there's a Lionel there, so god damn it, have fun with that. It's a lot, it's, it's really cool to see, like, a Lionel on the Great Plateau so early in the game, and I've seen people take it on, and it's pretty awesome to watch people either succeed or fail, because I like seeing them get wrecked, and like seeing them, like, Prevail and win, which is pretty nice. Pretty cool. So this is the goddess statue, which I said earlier is important. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I don't think it actually has a voice, but I'll give it a cool voice anyway. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit sorry, in exchange for four spirit orbs, I will imp imply you your being. Amplify your being. So tell me what is it that you desire. So what, I'm, what I've am what i decided to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get stamina vessel first, then I'm going to get 13 heart containers, so I'm going to get 10 more heart containers, and then you'll get, I'll, I won't tell you what you get, but you should know by now, this game's more than a year old, but it's something very important in all the Zelda games that Link must acquire. And then after that, when I get that thing, I'm going to convert all those into stamina vessel, then max out stamina vessel, and have like free hearts for a long time to make the game even more challenging, and more like edgy and entertaining, because I have to be more careful, and then I'm going to get max uh, heart, like start doing hearts after I get max stamina, so yeah, we're going to get stamina first, and then hearts, here we go, I shall grant the power you seek, I was a bit louder than I thought,
stamina vessel. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Personally, I don't really use, I don't usually do stamina because, like, I like doing the health, and also because I whistle run all the time, so I don't usually, like, run, but, well, I want to try on this file in front of you guys, I want to try and make it a lot harder and experience the stamina, because I see a lot of people who 100% of that, most of them have full stamina instead of full hearts, so, yeah. I love to fly like that, it's fun. Okay, so, so we're naked, we got more stamina, and we got bow. I'm really tempted to save, but I don't think I will, just in case something happens. Okay. And the next question is, where should we head first? Should we go to somewhere fun, or should we actually follow the storyline and not get our ass beaten to a pulp if we go to somewhere that's like di like different in the time in the game when you should be there with harder enemies? Um, well, it's my playthrough, so I think I should choose, but I don't know yet. Uh, hmm. Oops. Oh, uh, let's do this. Uh, well, personally, the, um, the shrine that I like to go, I mean, the Divine Beast I like to go to first is the, is the bird when you get Rivali's Gale. Oops, that was spoilers. That's fine. Um, this game's like a year old. But still. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think we'll go to the snow region, uh, first. Because Rivali's Gale is really helpful. So, um. I believe it's this way. I'm really excited that we finally finished the plateau, but personally, in my opinion, that plateau is like, even though it's like more like a training place, in my opinion, it's like really fun because it's it's not really a challenge, but like it's a certain segment in the game which everybody does differently and everybody does, even in this game, everybody does everything differently. Like, I mean, most people would probably go to um, Kakariku Village. But not me. I want to go my own path. And there's enemies around here, unless I killed them. There should be enemies down there. Yeah, no, oh yeah, I did kill them. I think that was the episode when I'd wolf link. And I killed those guys, remember that. So, let's see if we can see the Divine Beast. There's a tower up there. I might, uh, I'll mark it. Top of the town right there. Sniped. Bam. That was actually really cool. I don't actually think that's where it is, but it's the whereabouts of it. But I can't believe I got the very top of it. Or the tip of the tower antenna thing. So, yeah. And if I was off camera, I probably would have not done that. But yeah, it, was, it wasn't really funny, but it was a bit interesting and weird and a bit unique. Well, something, well, that was a really weird sound. Something you guys might not know is that, um, in this game, if you, like, shoot ten arrows or more, I mean, okay, so, in this game, if there's, like, if you, like, with there's items that are spawned in that you can pick up, I don't know if it's the same with weapons, I don't think I've ever seen more than ten weapons, but if there is, um, more than ten things, um, they will start to disappear. So if you chuck down five apples and five apples and one apple, one apple will disappear. And if you were to shoot ten arrows, and then one more, then you'd pick up ten and you'd lose one. Oops. So, yeah, I thought you guys might like to know that. You probably already knew that, but if you didn't, then you're welcome, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this is the problem I had, um, as soon as, um, I found out that the game that you get to choose whichever way you want to go and I saw the huge map for months and months I was like damn it which way should I go because I, I really wanted to go to the jungle but it's so far away and on the way there is lots of ways to die then again this game there's lots of ways to die but um I really want to save oh there's a shrine down there and then there's a Hinox over there should we do it uh, yeah, I think, I think we'll do the try and then I think I'll call the video. Yeah. 
just a warning, you might get annoyed by the habits I do while I'm um, paragliding because because I've gotten to a habit of, because I usually have low stamina, I don't glide that long, so I like make it go down quicker and like conserve stamina by spamming it a bit. If it gets annoying, then I'm sorry. But when I get um, when I get more stamina, I'll probably um, not do it anymore and adapt from that. But if I don't, then it's just a habit that I can't break, and I'm sorry, guys. Um, sorry, I have a bit of a stuffy nose. Recently, my voice has changed a bit. I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but it sounds a bit more... Oh, it's a mind test of strength. Wait a minute, do we have a torch? Please tell me we have a torch. Damn it. Oh, we don't have a torch. We don't even have... Do we have... Do we have any... Yeah, no, I wouldn't even be up to it anyway. I'll show you guys that another time. It's really cool. Um, that's nearly broken. Okay, here we go. Should be pretty easy. Get the bombs ready. Okay. I didn't know. I think. I think in the back of the head, I knew it was a minor test of strength, but. I didn't know. And this is probably going to kill me first hit, so let's be careful. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh wait, that was way off. Eh. Oops, that was an accident. Oh, God. Okay. I bet you guys didn't know this, but um, when they do the little, like, spinny thing. Oh, God. Um. Oh, God. Oh, I went the wrong way. Damn. <laughs> I'm probably going to die soon. Okay, um, we don't have very good weapons, um, yeah, so when they do this, you can actually parry it if you time it correctly, not that many people parry everything, I'm probably going to fail this, oh, Link, <laughs> the spear was like directly up, it looks like he was like, huh, like ready for war, and like, Saluting the captain. Oh, should I have one more attempt? I probably won't win, and I probably won't win, and I probably if I die. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll put this as a cliffhanger. So, my name's Effie One. Thanks for watching, and um, well, thanks for watching. Let's play this out of Breath of the Wild Part Seventeen. And yeah, I hope you liked it. We are naked. We are getting stamina, and we are on our way in the world doing something that we probably should do in the wrong order because it makes the game more fun though. So, bye guys.